Hello everyone, welcome to Shaping Memories once again. Hello. We're here and we are going to do a wonderful spring craft, right? Yes. And Paige is going to explain what we're going to do today. My little vision. Um, I was thinking about a spring craft and I created this. Um, I was kind of thinking about, wow, a spring craft that I've seen in the past, a lot of people well, what brought it to me was I went to my doctor's office and they had, you know, the pens, the flower pens, a flower on top with the green wrapped around, very cute, or a flower on top with actually the wire wrapped around about their pen to use. And I was walking around the craft store, or as some of us know, the very inexpensive craft store, and I saw this little gadget right here that I thought oh, that's and anybody who knows me and Cynthia we absolutely love bling we something, do <laughs> something shiny or anything that like my daughters always say if it's shiny mom's gonna buy it or like like they say mom what happens if something shiny you're like oh, oh I want it <laughs> well this was shiny so I looked at it and um, so my idea was that I was gonna take this shiny green bling bling wrap it around the pen and then stick some really beautiful flowers on the top and see how it works out so that's what cynthia and i are going to do today i think at home you could make them they could be great gifts you can make a bunch of them put them together and make a beautiful bouquet for right in front you know if you need pens by your phone or in your office or as a hostess gift so starting off we yeah. have these flowers that cynthia had made a bouquet with yeah. right and then I've, we also have some, these are Gerber daisies. We have two colors of those. We have, oh no, yeah, they're Gerber daisies. Uh, purple and we have a pink set. We have some pansies. These are called Narcissians. I don't know if it says Narcissus. Huh. Narcissus. Like uh, that kind of means you love yourself, right? Mm -hmm. A narcissist. A narcissist. It, yeah, it's pretty. And these were from last week. I think there's some yeah, type of cool. lily. And then we have some pansies. So we're gonna craft this up. Oh, and um, a lot of times I was thinking, you know, you were talking about this, how at the top, wherever they have the flower, it sticks out so much or it's kind of bulky. And yeah. So when I was telling Cynthia, it's like, why couldn't we just hot glue gun them? Cut them as short as possible and hot glue gun gum. Hot glue gun. Gun. I can't mm -hmm. say that word anymore. <laughs> Hot glue gun them to the top and make, or or not even just the top, or all around. Let's just make some stuff. Let's see how it turns out. Mm -hmm. So right here, Cynthia. Yeah, grab because a pen. normally what she's saying is that you would wrap the whole wire to the mm -hmm. pen with the sticky green paper and you wrap it around, but then it looks too bulgy. Yeah. Right. So we want to take that. Um, that look away and just basically so you just can see the pen and then just the flower mm -hmm. right it would look yeah. so much prettier i mean yeah that's that's, too much. that's usually how everybody makes them but we decided to make something different oh, this we're gonna time. try we're gonna yeah try. to see what it looks like see how it turns out so we have cynthia's oh i cannot see when i put those yeah. on we have cynthia's handy dandy very glue gun glue gun i mean that's a big glue gun i'm excited um glue gun uh, i'm blind as a bat so i'm going to start wrapping my pen but so this was the coolest stuff i found at the very inexpensive inexpensive store it is literally it's called what is it called i told you adhesive diamond wrap i found that and i was like oh what is that and it only came in green which was perfect for today's activity mm -hmm. so you literally peel it off from the back look feel it's sticky very sticky right and i'm going to start with my pen up at the top and in a as as close as i can i'll get to the top oh wait oh this one's not sticking as much as the other one wait this well, side you, i think i pulled the wrong i think that one might be kind of bad maybe you could start off with the little bit of the the glue. The glue. Oh, the yeah. Top. Even if you, yeah. Yeah, you and stick the top of it. Oh, there. And look, at the adhesive is better on this oh, one. I can see. see. I think the adhesive came off of that mm -hmm. one. So I started at the top to, because I want to put my flower right up there. 
and I wrapped around the top, but of course, you gotta kinda go down one, see Cynthia, how I'm going mm -hmm. down, so they match up. And I started to match, so I just started going around like this. And very, I don't wanna go too quick, I wanna take my time to match it up so it looks nice, but it does definitely give it a blink. And my biggest concern when I had bought the pens was, I didn't want to see, oops, I did not want to see the writing that's on the pen right here, right? So I kept going around and going around and fortunately, the blingy stuff, I'm gonna wrap one of these pens for Cynthia because I've done it earlier just practicing and she can try to, she'll figure out what kind of flower she wants to put all over. She can put a flower on the top, maybe along the sides. The other thing too is a lot of those flowers, they just have the flower on top, but they don't have any of their leaves, which go with them. You know, yeah, like, that's true. And they're not, mm -hmm. I don't know, it doesn't look as realistic, especially if you all have them all sitting in a, oh, in a pot together. I can't, I have my glasses on because I'm blind as a, I'm a blind bunny. But I'm blind as <laughs> blind a bat bunny. this close up. But when I look up, I can't see anything else. So i got to concentrate on this right now. So see how I'm lining them up? Yeah. See? Okay, so I keep going. And see how it's very... Like, you don't see the writing at all, really. The um, the rhinestones go right over it. Yeah. Which is really nice. So, I'm not worried about covering that. The bling takes over the white, definitely. So, I keep going around, going around. And then, I got to remember, at some point, I got to put the cap on. So, I'm going to stop so a little. Yeah, just right below the edge, I'm going to stop. And I'm going to keep, so I'm almost close to stopping. I'm going to need this. Oh, I'm here. I'm at the stopping point right here. Okay. Where, oh, here's need my some scissors. scissors. So I'm going to stop on this one right here. And look. Pretty. See it? Oh, okay, wow. so I blinged up the pen. It's beautiful green rhinestone, which looks like a stem. So Cynthia will pick a flower. She's going to. Oh, you already did. I like, okay. I like this one. She likes this one, this right? Color. This beautiful oh, oh, and blue. Oh, here's the leaves. So here's the leaves for this beautiful blue one. So what I think we should do is we need to pop take the plastic. Some, take all, and we need to make it as flat as possible. So where's my wire cutters? Well, you want to start wrapping another pen so okay. we can do another. One? So we're gonna pop this apart somehow. Yes. Oh, oh, just I like that. Look, I took out the little plastic part. So I have Cynthia's leaves are left of her flower. I'm gonna lay those right on top. I'm gonna put a bunch of glue right there. I'm gonna lay it on top. And let's see what happens. We have no idea because we were, it's all in theory, this beautiful art project that we keep thinking of. I love thinking of projects and then I don't, everyone always asks me, you've done that, right? You've done it before? No. <laughs> That's how Cynthia and I used to be head work all the time. No, I've never done it before. I have it in theory what's gonna happen. We'll see how it works out. So we'll I don't know if any of you happens. noticed, but I'm kind of leery, but that glue gun is hot. So I'm gonna use the top of the pen cap. So I put a bunch of glue on the top of the pen uh -huh. and I'm just gonna push it down there with this cause it is really hot. I've burned my fingers many times using a glue gun. And if you so see, <laughs> <laughs> if you see our, our little leaves are going down, come on like a, like if you had a couple of those, it could be a palm tree. Oh, that does look like a palm tree. <laughs> but cute. at some point, after the glue dries, I think they're gonna pop back up around our little flower. So as you see, we have this big thing sticking out right here. So I wanna take a look. Do I think I can take the flower apart without losing the shape of the flower? I don't. So I think what I'm gonna do is pop a little glue right in the middle of that flower to make sure that all of that stays together right there. Just a little bit of a glue. And the glue Cynthia has is clear. It's gonna dry clear. So that's in there kind of telling to me, Sweet. telling all those little petals to stay together. And I'm gonna clip this off on the back as short as I can because I don't want any of that sticking off of my, the top of my pen. So with the wire cutters, or any kind of cutters, I'm trying to make this, yep, there's my glue. The glue on the inside is doing well. Let's see, where's my scissors? I'm gonna try to shave this off as much as possible without it losing its form of being the flower. Okay, so I still have my flower intact. That still looks like your flower, right? Yep, it looks Now, pretty. got my leaves there. I'm going to, as much as I can, 
I'm going to put as much glue around the bottom of this. I'm going to slap it on top of this and I'm going to try to form the flower, the leaves around it so it all heats oh, together so and stays together. So let's see, I'm going to put... I... We had a lot of fun creating these. Yes, definitely. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again with an, another project that we have Yes. very soon for you, the Easter holiday. Yes. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye.